Oh, that's good. Yeah. A little bit of flex. This is a tricep flex. <laughs> <laughs> what are you running at 150? What speed do you get? 83, 84. Mile? Nah, okay. It used to be quick. I used to get 90 something out of it, but it's just gotten slower as she's gotten older. Oh, is that a thing? I don't know. It is for this thing. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, I haven't got a PA system at the moment. Long story. Involved sideways Mercury trailer on the road out to Mallacoota yesterday. I'll tell you over a beer one day. Everyone's all right, but we don't have the big Mercury trailer. It had the PA systems and all the cool things that we wanted to roll out this weekend. We're on our Plan B at the moment. So, firstly, uh, thank you everyone for making the effort to come to Mallacoota. I know it's the height of the uh, the Omicron version of the pandemic. Payouts: ten thousand one hundred bucks in the boater prize pool, paying down to ninth place. We have 47 boats and, four, and 33 non-boaters fishing this event. So there is a chance if you're a boater, you may have a spare uh, one of the two days throughout the weekend. Got him yet, make sure you see Tom. He's got some Maui Jim sunglass cleaning kits and he's got some skin shrimp colored bait junkie grubs and minnows free. Multiple packets for the, uh, the non-boaters, boaters. Everyone fishing this event, make sure you see Tom. I don't think he wants to take too many of them home. Our next group is boat number nine, Byron Hill fishing with Luke Doherty. Boat number 10, Daniel Kent, fishing with Lindsay Price. So just in the last said it's just two dudes getting eight fish. Yeah. So if you think we need to be doing something different because yeah. I'm just like collapsing, yeah. you speak up, bro. Like, yeah. cool. You're yeah. here, as, you're part of this boat just as well as I am. Yeah. I think it's we take off Carbatong and then key tag back here. Back here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. I'll see you in the morning, man. Yeah, see you, man. Alrighty anglers, let's kick off the 2022 Guy I literally started my comp again at about 11.45. I pulled up to that same deep spot. That was chaos. That was proper chaos. Bro. I'm shaking. I am shaking. Booyah! Felt like they were just looking for shade, you know, especially at the bridge on the pylons and stuff. We're going to turn and burn as soon as this is done, dude. Yeah. Be ready for me. I was lucky enough to meet with Brett when I used to work on a table shop in Lakes. Once you get his head up, just go. How you doing, man? Good. Nothing. Nothing. It's been up a nonny. Do you have a spare today? You got a nonny? Nah, I got a nonny, yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll just go on that side, Luke. I'll let you put that down in the order that you want it. Yeah. I've got uh, a few things to do this morning, so I will tidy up. Pump for the day? Ah, we gotta go back to the car, bro. Yeah. yeah, need to grab a clipboard. I'll let's in the car. Right, come on, Chris. Nice. Sorry, Jesse. Oh, so we have had some drama this morning, thanks to me, I left the official ruler and the official clipboard in the car. We've already registered, we're key tag number 10, so we're going to start with some bit sandy banks, some broken up weed. Really worked well for us yesterday in pre-fish, but the wind is different today. Yesterday was nice and sunny, today is cloudy. There's also a lot of wind yesterday, today it's only light wind, so hopefully we're looking for stuff that just breaks up the surface of the water, and we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Plans today? Yeah, so uh, based on yesterday's pre-fish, we're sort of going to go out and probably not fish any deeper than the 12 foot mark, yeah. so 
Uh, with the lack of wind and the wind turning around today, I'm probably going to start a little bit deeper like we spoke about yesterday, probably start in that 9 to 10 foot range and then uh, see what that bite tells me with regards to the pattern and move myself in on the edges, parallel everything, mm. wait for a puff of wind like everyone else or <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be touch and go whether I move right into the 3 foot range or stay in the 6 to 9 foot range. Yeah, sure is getting out wide yesterday, so is that, yeah. is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, so early morning I think they'll be wide and I'll, they're easy to get wide, they're not as big but they're quicker, so yeah, yeah. get those five fish uh, for confidence and then I'm happy to plug away every 20 minutes up in the shallows in yeah, that cool. sort of structure driven area. I'll run, like depending on what the wind does, depends on sort of what lure I'll use. I'll, I'll try and use the crankbaits again, but um, as the wind dropped off yesterday, I found a few fish on the cranker crabs and stuff, so yeah. good fun. I've got the crab bite working when you're gone. Oh, really? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Ah, right, cool. So, looking forward to it. Fingers crossed, man. Yeah. I'm going to throw a drone up here in a second, you know, we'll see how that goes. Yes. Get some nice boats in the water, hey? It's really good to see everyone. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, anglers, can you all hear me out there? Let's get going in about 30 seconds time. So I'm looking for boat number one, Pete Brukel. Give me a wave. Perfect, I need you up the front here in front of me, please. Pete Brukel, boat number one. Alrighty, anglers, let's kick off the 2022 Daiwa Broom Series round one here at Mallacoota. Let's get going in five, four, three, two, one. Off you go, boat number one, Pete Brukel. I'll try and make this the last question for a little while. Do you like me to net your fish? Oh yeah, mate, if you're happy. I'm, yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty casual, mate. Right? So okay, no You worries. just do what you want to do and... Some people aren't. Yeah, I know. I know some pay for a bit. They anyway. just like to do the right thing. Let's just have some fun. first fish I got, it was legal, I pulled it in, and as it come up, the line snapped and went off the other side of the deck. <laughs> Is that a camera? Fish, camera. Oh, yeah! <laughs> first fish, and I'm like, oh, that's a great start. And I looked at the nonny, I was like, we'll, we'll net them from the rest of the day. Bugger. Oh. <laughs> that's a good start. What weight jig head you got on, man? I got a 12. Okay. You got a 12? No, I've got a 20th on it. Okay. Yeah, I'd go to at least a 16th just for this sort of yep. stuff. Fine. Because the 16th you can still use when we fish on the edge too. That'll yep. cover both bases for you. Perfect. Right on. I only got a 12th on because I got a grub on, but like for the minnows I use a 16th. Usually. Yep. That's better. That's better. <laughs> well done, Liam. Good start, mate. <laughs> Get a few of them. Well, you should do a fair bit of that today. Yeah, it's dirty as. But as soon as you get like one or two under your belt, the um gives you confidence to grind it out on the bigger fish. Oh, for sure. Of the day. You don't know what the black sometimes I feel like a flathead. You're just yep. waiting for those big head shakes. 80% humidity, 80% chance of rain this morning, light winds, overcast, chance of a thunderstorm. Yeah. Feels flatty. It is a flatty. First part of that. I think we will see lots of those guys today. Yeah. No. Oh! Number two. Two bites this morning. First ten minutes. That'll get your heart rate going. Yep. 
Ah, Three bites. Three bites. Wife just sent me a message saying good luck. All right, spot one's not produced. Maybe we'll come back in a little bit. Hodgie's gone out early, he's got five. Hodgie's got five. He's the only one, everyone else looks like they've only got one. There we go. That, however, is a brim. It's a suspension. So relieved. <laughs> Get up here, throw in if you want. Let's just talk some rear. My cockpit is just like packed with stuff at the moment. Just trying to cycle through as many bits of gear as possible. And the thing that's come on is a surface. Slippery dog. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I can see you. You are just mucking around with it right now. Something playing with it. There we go. I want to go far in there to the left though, but I'm just going to cast where the boat's going to be. See if we can pick up a fish there. Yeah, we can. Nice. And he's big, but... Nice. Thank you very much, sir. Number two. All right, so we've just landed the fifth fish and I've been backboated. You can see that. My nonny Luke, who's on one fish at the moment, has taken over my boat. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up to? Do you know you can watch live scoreboard? No. Hmm. It's an app, right? Yeah, it's an app. So ABT Live. I'll download it. Yeah. Um, I think I'm, I was eight with four fish and I've just got my fifth. Great job, darling. Totally. So That's awesome. I'm just trying to... For some reason, my fifth fish isn't turning up, though. Odd. Yeah. So I'm currently eight with four. News vibe, just sitting on the bottom. Good head shakes too. Upgrade, grab it. This is good. This is good, son. I was on the bottom. Callum, dead. Oh, second bite. Callum, son. Callum. Callum, Callum, Callum. What is going on? You Western Australian legend, you. You Western Australian legend. What have you created, Callum? Jesus Christ. Oh, we've lost him. Okay, that's okay. That was a big fish. We went after it like three or four times, which means there's plenty of fish down there. Yep. Oh my god, Callum. Calamari. Calamari must fight. Yeah, that's a big fish.
lift it up off the bottom. That is cool, just left it there. Keep that lorry out, dude. We're gonna go to another spot. These guys are just like seen enough. Pressure. So yeah, the morning didn't go uh, as planned. I, I want, really wanted to get a few fish early up in my deeper spot and I reckon it was probably 15 minutes into it, I sort of knew that wasn't going to happen. Went over to Goodwin Sand where Stewie got his one. Obviously starting the drift going down the other way. Caught flathead after flathead and I'm like, done with that. And then we pulled in on a rock wall we found yesterday at Arvo and I was like, I'm just going to sit it out on this rock wall, mate. I mean, Noddy, like, he was catching good fish. He had three really good fish by 10. Mate, he got a yellow fit 35.4, cast a Daiwa deep crank thing in that fouled up and it was like doing cartwheels on top of the water he's like oh what's that behind my lure and i just saw this wolf of a yellow thing come out and go oh i'm like you're kidding me he just goes <laughs> he goes is that a tailor no mate that's a big yellow that is so good we went to goodwin sands and i'm like position the boat hitting the um flat like right in on the transition. yeah and he goes a 20th like um, a 120 on a, on a grub in like probably 17 foot of water, it gets four foot down the water column and goes, Bong. it just goes, Rah! and he's like, oh, that's gotta be a tailor. I'm like, yeah, it's gotta be a tailor. Look at his rod tip and it's going. <laughs> and I'm like, and I literally stood there and I went, you gotta be kidding me. How did, how did what, what do you weigh? He's sitting second. Oh. He had a 35, a 34, Four eight, which is a thirty five and a thirty four. I massive reach around, and that was all before ten, before I even got my fish. So then, I, like I said, after that, I went to this rock wall where we finished up in the afternoon. I went, this is all I got. Don't care. Literally rolled in and on the drift went, bang. He didn't get a fish. He's like, oh, that's good. Bang. He didn't get a fish. He's like, what's going on here? I went, bang, 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 bang for half an hour, and then put the whole bag in a well. Oh really? He's like, what are you? He's throwing the exact same thing as me. I was like, bang, 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 bang. I was just on. I got busy. Was that on the crank again that he told me? On the crab. Ah, oh, right. No. He's like, so, holy yeah. shit. So, like, that masterclass that you were meant to show me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the GoPro went dead. Ah, yeah. No more masterclass. Classic. No more masterclass. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Busy. So, third now. Third. Yeah, that's good. Hodgy and Morgan will take some bait. They're 700 grams ahead. I don't know if they can catch them. Yeah, six. More goes 500 in front of me. And oh, sorry, 700 in front of me. Right, updated yeah. weights now. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they take each other's fish or someone, like, you know, like, because everyone will be swinging for their asses tomorrow. They'll probably find themselves in similar areas. Yeah. So they could take each other's fish on them. I, I've seen it tell you before, like, all I, I think I, just where I'm at, I'm stoked with being top 10. Yeah. I am stoked with having. Hang on to it. Have five fish tomorrow. Yeah. You know, that's. How'd some, Tommy go? Uh, I think he's just been punched out. He was 10th. Oh, yeah. it shouldn't have changed. So yeah. I think he's 10th or 11th, something like that. He said he caught him all right today. He didn't really fucking struggle too much. So he was the same as probably you and I. Like starting early in the morning, I went the first four spots that I went to, nothing. Did you feel it was hell different to yesterday? Yeah. Were you like, oh yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. I was panicking, man. And my nonny's like, man, you're so calm and methodical. I'm like, you've got <laughs> no idea what's going in my head. Like, pretty much from 7.20, all I heard was... Doof, 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 doof. Uh, and he's like yapping along, road. and I'm just like... Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> you got to find fish, you mong. you got to find fish. All the spots that I was sight casting for, like the last, you know, pre-fish, and then and, uh, yesterday afternoon yeah. that I got fish, 
Like, you know where the east bank, where you saw me pull yeah, into? Yeah, went right up the back of Yeah, it. I went 35 and then moved 300 metres, then I went 34, then moved 300 metres, then went 32. And I was like, okay, hey, this is where I'm starting right. Yeah. Oh, yellows? Yellows. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And um, good tall fish went there straight away this morning. Awesome. Then went to Goodman, the corner of the Goodman, yeah. and followed Pryke's drift, which is, he was drifting yeah, your drift. Like, yeah, I saw him this morning. Yeah. And um, three or four flathead, hit a random point on the way, and then went, you know, those fish, they weren't fired up yesterday in that back corner. I wonder if they turned on now. Yeah, right about now. Seven on the top water to start the day. Yeah. And then to the deep for bigger fish. Muscle bar. Muscle bar. Have to have. So it's good. Radio. Yeah. Let's do some shots. So today was absolutely awesome, nothing went to plan, it was completely different to the pre-fish. I had to work bloody hard for the pattern, I think I probably hit 12 to 13 different spots today, eventually found them on the surface, but I've got to tell you, weighing 5 point, sorry, weighing 4.2, 4.1, 4.2, was, it was absolutely blown away uh, by that. All, right, all I want tomorrow is to catch 5 fish. and be consistent and that'll be that'll be a great result I think what I did learn from today though was that those fish changed so much from yesterday so that tomorrow they might be completely different again for I think I've got three spots that I want to check out the first is the deep spot behind Goodman Sands I reckon I can pick up some nice fish just some 30 schooling fish 30 size schooling fish sitting there fail safe though this afternoon we got big fish at the mouth of Harrison's as soon as that river started to or that channel started to run pretty hard on that out tide those fish were just sitting there pack hunting waiting for their lunch to come out of the lake so I'll do that a little bit earlier so I'll probably get there at around about 11 quarter past 11 I think I think why I didn't see anyone today there was because, like me, I, I'm thinking that that channel is going to be loaded with fish when the fresh salt water pushes in as opposed to the water coming out. So we're going to check that out as our third spot tomorrow, man. I am so pumped about this. I'm losing a bit of light. A bit sunburnt, I'm going to get some moisturiser, some sunscreen on my face for tomorrow, but wish me luck.
fish number one for the day. Picked it up and ran straight away, but now he's giving me nothing. Oh, now comes the caution of is this a flathead? I don't think so. Fuck yeah, that's a great way to start, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good way to start. 112 grub, just picked up. Back to basics, that muscle fibre wasn't working for me, so. Yeah. Do one more circle. There you go. Good call on the flathead. Shit. What'd you do? Three or five, Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. I think it was on camera too. Just so you know. <laughs> That's. I should do a how-to on how not to numb bait. <laughs> Hey, Steve, your dad just threw a flathead over with my flies in its mouth. Oh, yeah. Has he, has he non-baited before? <laughs> yeah, <longer> <laughs> 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 he did not mean to do that. <laughs> I don't think he's as big, but he, oh, he could be actually. He's shaking a lot more. We're gonna go to the back of that. Well, since he's done a big circle like that, I'm hoping that means he's not a flatty. Semi foul hook, maybe. Definitely a brim. Good head on him. Hell yes. Putting it back together, brother. We're putting it back together. Yeah, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, shit. 35. Got two fish, 7.30, two fish. Things are okay at the moment. Is that a top hit? Did you hear that? Yep. On top of yours. <laughs> <laughs> the front of the boat is this way. Yeah, it's a brimbo. Can I don't think it's as big. You're about to get back boated in a second. <laughs> I'll take you, but I want to upgrade you. I said, I wonder if I'm in the right spot. And then I thought to myself, I guess a couple of fish in the mid thirties tells me that I'm probably in the right spot. Third yeah. fish in the 30s. Like that one there. Yeah, go, get in there. Get in there, Lizzie. <laughs> deep area at the moment uh, and I'm just letting this thing sit on the bottom they were taking the muscle vibe here yesterday but they're not taking it here at the moment so um, we're just using a bit of a bit of that stuff and uh, she's soaking at the bottom and the fish are just picking it up after a pause just owning it <laughs> just get one to decide to eat. Just one of you. I just need one to eat. Come, baby. Rod 
down so you can catch another fish. Every time you put your rod down. Yeah. You put your rod down more often. Yeah, she's good. She's long. I'm coming second and here I am wanting to do product <laughs> I was coming first for a while. Alright, so menu. So explain to me this, so usually when you and I would see the side scan, those white bits, we'd be like, they're fish. Do you know what I mean? Like the white dots? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it looks like? Are these all fish, is there no interference? interference? Okay. I found in the deeper water yesterday, uh, it was given a clearer image without the lines and stuff. Um, and I had to turn off the second transducer because it was interfering as well. So these would be the fish here then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so does, and does it continue to go back and forth, does yeah, it? it just goes back and forth, back and forth. Oh, how interesting. Might have really appreciate that, thanks. I thought you were braining him at the top lake yesterday. I got fish up there yesterday. I just didn't go up there this morning because of the lack of wind. I can't fish that place, ho. Hey. I used to love it up there. I don't know what's changed about it. What's that? Yes. Who? 500 bucks of them. That's a lot. How many is that? 20? It's actually kind of impressive. Probably wasted an hour there. I shouldn't have. I actually don't think I'm going to get any bigger than 34, 35 here, hey. I don't know if anyone else had it in the bay Zara in, but this morning, you know, the hatch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the brim were on top of the water where I pulled up in the first spot. Well, I've seen you hit your fire bag real quick, right? They were in nine foot of water, but on the surface. Oh, really? Eating the hatch, and I was just dropping grubs on them. That's awesome. It was hectic. I've never seen anything like it. Like, all around me was grim with their shoulders out, just looking at me. I was like, bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Whew. Boat's still taking off, and we've got number one a lot better start than yesterday. Seems to be the fish are still stacked up in here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of bugs in the air, and I'm literally out in eight foot of water, and I have fish all around this boat, busting up and eating termite bugs. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. There's a proper <laughs> malacuda black. Such difference in fish. First cast a, a yellow, <laughs> now a black, and they're all just swimming together at the moment. They're all just swimming together at the moment and, and feeding up and, and having a good old time. So I've never seen anything like that. That was literally a big pack come through, <laughs> ate a heap of bugs off the surface, literally dropped the grub on top of its head and it just ate it. There would have been probably 20 fish there. There's literally brim sticking out the water. That's so cool. surrounding my boat on top of the water in eight foot of water I can see their backs out of the water like, I'm literally hitting them on the head with the grub were there any big ones you got some weight they're just like 30 ones well, that's nice like to start the day 100% way better than yesterday yeah yes very nice yellow I'm gonna go to the mouth, so. Yeah, good luck, man. I figure if I'm gonna get like 38, it's gonna be there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's... Hopefully, no one's there on you, too. Well, Morgo's got 100 grams on me, I think, in the moment. Okay, who's leading? Morgo. Oh, is he? Yeah, so. Oh, he's hitting second. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah. Um, but he, the problem is, he's got two fish that are 750, so he's got like room to move. Yeah, 100%. You're right, you're 
know with the mouth if you're going to do it on a big yellow. It's going to have to be. So I'm going to, I'm going to just park up and just see if he's through. Good luck, mate. Yeah, thanks, dude. Starting to move, isn't she? There we go. They're going to feel much heavier than they are here because of that, that current. current. Yeah. It's going to look much smaller than he is, but it, I think he's actually okay. Um, it makes me so happy that you know how to net a fish. All right, she's not getting upgraded. Yeah, take it. Yep, there we go. He's on. But we're beating 34s, that's the problem. Right? Mm. This is a spot here too. If we just like stay here, be quiet. Yeah, they'll just come past. Yeah, them. they will. And they'll refresh, won't they? Look at that fish. That's an upgrade, isn't it? That's definitely an upgrade. Come on, buddy. Jump in. <laughs> and just twitch it and then let it flow. And they'll get they'll grab it. No, she's not an upgrade. All right, we're gonna send it back. She's the same size. I can't believe she's she's definitely bigger. She's bigger and heavier than a lot of the fish, but she's not. I'm gonna log it. I should log it. I'm using the Spike 44 in Moby. Um, that's what they hit yesterday as well. Throw whatever you want to throw, but uh, under the, in this container you'll see a Hobie hatch. Um, so just grab grab one if you want. Jason Mabry just got me 50 grams. All right, there's a fish. Yeah. Coming up the left. Awesome. Mate, what I would pay for you right now, normally, you, know, you are not the fish I want. This is about the 30th fish this size at the moment. We can't get through. I can't get through 34 to upgrade those two, those three small 34s. But Lindsay just picked up a 35 and I picked up a 36 fork here yesterday. So that's a kilo fish. They're all coming in at like 900 grams, 800 grams. So we're going to need to... <laughs> that's steady, man. Yeah. We're just going to need to plug away. Drake is only 1258, one o'clock. Behind Jason Mabry by like 20 grams. 134 and a half. We'll, we'll do it for you. And Lindsay's still casting in my spot. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do tell my non voted not to fish? What, you never caught fish like this before? Like... For now? See him? Yeah, good, 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 good. Just let it... Yeah, go. There we go. There's me. Ready? Is that him? That was a weird technique. <laughs> Quite, his, head, his head was up though, so. Yeah. That's actually a good size fish. I wish I had that right now. Thought we'd give him away from later. 
Alright, well done. Really well done. What? Same technique though? Hey? Same technique? Yeah. Just letting it float in the water? Letting it float. Fresh, won't they? Look at that fish. That's an upgrade, isn't it? That's definitely an upgrade. Come on, buddy. Jump in. <laughs> I'll take you, but I want to upgrade you. There's another for your collection. There's 2,000 bucks in total there in a bit of year. So there you go. Tournament director donates the money back to ABT as per usual. So thank you very much. Yeah, and right. you're at the top as well. You're leading this thing this morning. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. Right. Right. Right, today has been absolutely awesome. I'm absolutely blown away with the result. I couldn't have asked for anything better. My goal was to just, like I said before, just to fill two bags of, uh, of average fish in a day. And uh, this morning, man, we turned up to that first spot and it was just bang, bang, bang. It was, it was absolutely awesome. It was, uh, I wanted to fill the bag with 30s and then go look for bigger fish, but we end up filling everything with 34s just straight away. And uh, I, uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. So I took home a check, sixth place, uh, 700 bucks. That'll be awesome. The wife will be happy. Things will be good. For the moment though, uh, for now, I am basically done. So uh, three days of fishing plus the filming. Tomorrow, I'm actually filming something uh, with Daiwa that will be linked there or there. I don't know where. It'll be linked somewhere when that's done. And I'm pretty excited about that. But the day after that, we are into round two, which is Gippsland Lakes. And I guess you could sort of say that is my hometown that I have really struggled with that for the last three months. I, the, the fish are just not where I expect them to be. So uh, I'm really pumped to go discover with Stephen Pryke, who is an awesome fish show and initially showed me the ropes of jerk baiting and everything that was Gippsland Lakes when I first turned up a couple of years ago to live. We'll get the drone shots up. We'll talk about the places and how we plan on catching our Gippsland limit. Until then, I will see you soon. Ciao. And then I'll just keep, I'll bang, 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 bang. Yeah, just point hopping. Point hopping, like I do in the Hawkesbury. And then I went for a Hail Mary in the last 20 minutes. I went crab jetty, crab jetty, crab jetty, nothing. Come all the way around the channel marker, second channel marker. I see ya. Got busted off on the second channel marker on a crab. I was like, ugh. And then pulled into the flat which I should have come here in hindsight because I knew Hodgie was fishing there and I knew the quality of fish on there. In hindsight, I should have gone there with an hour to go because I had 10 casts and nine casts I had to follow. Didn't have a commit, but I had to follow, which was, I would have had to leave fish here, but the fish here were all 33s to find fish. That was the problem, hey? Like I was, I was just like- So hard to leave fish to yeah, find fish, man. It's yeah. my number one rule. Don't leave fish to find fish. And if, there are, if your school's yeah. only ever gonna be like the same size. That's right though, but you're like, I'll fish. Like, did you go for long fish as opposed to fat fish, like on purpose? I just was trying to do everything I could to harness the big fish life and- I got, yeah, yeah. I got some big long fish, the, the yellows here, yeah. but because the tails, are so like yeah, yeah. V-shaped. So yeah, I I reckon I got my biggest fish there all day. Yeah. 
but none of them were like. They like to have like wishy tails, so you get more length out of them. Yeah, yeah. And weight, hopefully, sometimes too. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. I reckon the blacks are weighing heaps more than all the yellows I caught today. Really? They'll thick all the way through to the tail. My, my ones were thicker here. Yeah. Okay.